All right, we're back. And on the first page of the case, um, the CFO is asking for a 12-month pro forma. And he says, use the compound growth rate in sales as the base estimate and vary that up and down by 10%. So again, as we were talking, it is growth that causes the company to need more capital. So um, shifting up the growth rate up from 39% to 43% is not going to help matters. It is downshifting, slowing growth down that will help. And I don't think that a 10% cut from 39% uh, to, to um, 35% is going to help a lot. So let's do this. Let's start um, by cutting the growth rate in half. And let's see what happens to our sales if we cut our growth rate um, from 39% to 20%, let's say 20%, okay? So, we're going to say sales for next year equals this times 1.2. So that number changes, and that's going to flow. So the sales number goes down. It was 76, now it's 65.6, it's 66. So that's $10 million less in sales. We're going to leave the rest of the um, percentage of sales numbers the same. Let's look, and you can see, so our net income is going to go down by $400,000. Okay. And let's see what happens to our... Um, balance sheet and we see that um, all these numbers downshift and let's go through and it's it's all going to show up right here folks so let's take a look um, at our cash flow statement okay so this is before the change okay so we're going to spend 9.8 million. We'll generate 3.8, but we're going to spend 9.8. Okay. Then, um, and we're going to have to borrow 6 million here, and another 3. Point, I'm sorry, 3.2 million here, and 3.2 million in contributed capital, uh, common stock, and then another 600,000 in preferred stock. Now let's shift it and see what this looks like and we're going to generate 4.4 million so we were going to generate 3.8 now we're going to generate 4.5 and um, we're only going to need six million so uh, we go from needing um, six million which is three point nine point eight minus three point eight we go from that to whoops six minus four point five now we only need a million and a half see that okay so, um, if we then go up here and improve our gross profit, let's say we improve our gross profit, which means we're going to lower this a little bit. Let's lower this to um, 86.5. Now let's go through and see we're still not as good as the industry. That increases our um, let's change that. Let's see. If we take that to 86 and a half.
Oh, we need to, yeah, that needs to change here. Whoops. Hold on. I changed the wrong number. We need to change this number here. Yeah. So let's change this to 86 and a half. So we're going to prove our, net, our gross margin by half a percent. Let's see how that flows through. Now we're going to generate 4.8 million. So we need a million two, okay? And let's look at our net fixed assets. And we took it to 30%. It's at 22% here. Let's say we do a little bit better job here and we take this to 28%. Okay? Flow back through here and looky here. We're even. We don't need external capital. If so, if we slow our growth rate down, okay, to um, whoops, there. If we slow our growth rate down to 20%, increase our net margin by a half a percent, and Im, uh, improve our fixed asset turnover. So that instead of 32% of sales, we only need 28% of sales. The industry is only using 22% of sales. Okay, we can grow without. We can grow 20% in sales, which would increase our net income available to common shareholders by 50%, 800,000. Okay without bringing in any outside capital. How about that? All right, so um, what are the lessons here? The company needs to manage growth. The company needs to manage um, their efficiency, their accounts receivable, their inventory, and their uh, um, fixed asset turnover. Need to do a better job there. Need to do a better job with either with pricing or with their cost of goods sold and manage their growth down, shift their growth a little bit, and they won't have to raise as much capital. And if I was a rating agent agency, if I was working for one of the rating agencies, I would tell them these things and tell them, you want to improve uh, your credit rating, then manage your company better and we will increase your credit rating. All right, so I'm gonna post uh, this, and uh, you should be able to manipulate these numbers the way I just did. I'll post this for you, and I'll be looking for um, the rest of your answers. All right, that's it. Great case, enjoy this case a lot. This is a standard business case for finance people. Peace out, shalom.